Hey guys, what is up? Uh, I'm here in the garage tonight uh, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm actually gonna name prices. Uh, a lot of people always ask how much things cost um, and just, you know, everyone's always interested in that. And to me, uh, I'm interested in, th in that as well with other people's cars, you know, just how much did it take to get it to the point what, you know, at the point that their car is currently at. Uh, so for me, what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm actually going to list each mod that's on this car, uh, tell you the price, and then tell you the total that I spent on this car. Uh, please keep in mind, this is not gonna include uh, any sponsorships or any partnership uh, prices that I've gotten or, or deals or anything like that. This is just, um, you know, pretty much what you would find on the internet, the cost of that, of that, uh, of that item. And then um, basically a total of all those items together. Uh, so somebody can get a rough idea of what it costs to bring your car or your STI up to this point. Um, it may not seem like a lot when you look at the car, you know, it's just basic stuff. Uh, but I, I keep a, an Excel spreadsheet of everything that I've done, including maintenance, every thousand miles recorded. Um, so, you know, it has the date and everything. Uh, just everything about the car since the day, first day of ownership um, till today. Uh, it's literally listed in uh, mileage and, and, and date order. So it's, it's a very useful tool. I always do this with all my cars. Uh, so, you know, it's good for me just to kind of keep track of things. Uh, it's also good, it's a great selling tool. So when you go to sell a car or the car that you're, you're um, you know, looking to sell, uh, it's a great uh, thing to have to show uh, potential buyers. So they can literally read the whole story of the car, know exactly what was done on the dates, the mileage. Um, so, you know, it's for me, I would love to have that. I've never found, uh, I never bought a used car that had that, but I kind of hope uh, that someday if I do end up buying a used car in the future, uh, that I find somebody like me that keeps uh, detailed um, uh, spreadsheets like that. But what I did is I just took all the maintenance stuff out, um, all the mileage uh, data out, and it just um, listed all the mods that I've done, the modifications. So this is how much it costs to bring your STI to where it is currently. All right, so I have my phone here. It has uh, uh, the complete list of everything. It's a pretty long list. Uh, some of the mods are pretty small. Um, but I'm gonna list them anyway because they're on the car and I wanna kinda of give a true value uh, as to what this costs. So um, I'm just, I'm literally gonna start up the list and read it down. Again, please keep in mind, this doesn't include any sponsorship deals or partnerships or, or, or um, uh, you know, any holiday uh, savings that, that a company was having at the time. This is just, um, just a basic price for uh, items or mods that you would find on the internet, basically everywhere. It's all, it's all roughly the same, so it'll give you an estimate. It's not gonna probably be exact uh, what I spent, obviously, but um, it's, it'll give you a good idea. All right, so this is, the first stuff is pretty basic because it was when I just got the car and it's like the, the essential stuff that no, people normally get when they get an STI. Uh, um, but the first thing on the list is uh, uh, paint match bumper plugs uh, to fill in the holes that it comes with. That, it, that was $24.95. Um, next, next was the uh, tail is turn and back, backup module from um, Dio Dynamics. That was $92.88. Um, next was Su the Subaru OEM AC fan blower sound fix pack. Crazy name, but it's that little panel that goes um, in the passenger wheel well or passenger uh, foot well on the passenger side to cover the. Um, the AC fan, because if it's not there, it's it's pretty loud. So uh, once that's once you put it on there, it's it's virtually silent. Uh, I don't know why they didn't include that on the STI, but um, it wasn't there. So it's something that I got. That was forty dollars and thirty eight cents. Um, the front and rear uh, uh, emblems, the frames around there, which are gloss black, those were nineteen ninety five. Uh, the Diodynamic Smart Top Tap module, which allows LEDs, and you could do the uh, cool the cool different blinking uh, hazard blinkers. Um, that was 60. Um, the Delta Motorworks Fast Track Axle Back, which is the muffler, uh, that was uh, about 450. Um, 
the Subi Speed PK style Alcantara steering wheel. That was $462.64. Uh, Fortune Auto 500 coilovers with Swiss springs and radial bearing upgrade kit or upgrade. Um, that was $1750. Uh, Raised Dura, Dura uh, the lug nuts, the raised Dura locks, Dura lugs and locks. <laughs> uh, and I also got OLM interior LEDs at the same time. That was, oh, I had something in here. That was uh, 120 plus 20, so 140. Um, next up was the, is the wheels, the Enki RS05RRs, uh, 18 by 9.5 plus 35. Those were uh, 2100. Uh, the Michelin AS, uh, AS3s, the tires, 265, 35, 18. Uh, those were uh, around 800. Uh, Subi Speed LED, or Subi LED X3 H11 fog bulbs. Uh, those were 8797. It gets, this is just the beginning. <laughs> um, IJDM Toy F1 rear smoke third brake light. That was $69.99. Uh, USDM splash guards, which is in the back, uh, on, underneath in the, on the back bumper. Uh, black and white STI badges, these right here. Uh, and what else did I get in that? Uh, side marker tint. I don't think I have that on there. Uh, third brake light harness. So that was for the, uh, the F1 light. Uh, that was 20110. Um, the kicker door, door card, door card speakers and tweed and tweeters. Those were $290. Um, the Cobb, uh, Delrin shift knob. That was 8326. Uh, the OEM kicker subwoofer. I, that's the only item on this car that I got used actually, um, because it was a ridiculous deal. You, normally these things are like 400 from the, uh, uh, from, from the dealer. Uh, I got mine used on the forums for $207 which is a pretty good deal. Uh, next up, I had to get the harness for that, um, which was, <clears throat> that was, let's see, where am I? Oh, that was $104.50, uh, 35% tint, that was $275. Um, <clears throat> the Carpoy short shift kit and pair and reverse lockout, that was $210.69. Uh, the Basinar CSL style front lip and side skirts, so the bottom pieces here, that was um, 290. Um, Cobb access port, I got the parent trunk handle, uh, the gloss black STI cover on the steering wheel, uh, and that was 73610. Uh, next up is the Delta Motorworks non res mid pipe. Um, I already had the axle back, so I was just completing the cap back. Uh, that was 700. Uh, the iDoing I Android head unit, uh, that's the stereo that I have in the car, the actual head unit, uh, that was $370.22. Uh, the JDM grill, uh, that was $120. Um, carbon fiber e brake handle, that was $75. Uh, the GCS e brake button, that was about $20. Um, the IJDM Toy Sequential Mirror Turn Signals, these things right here, that was $96.79. Uh, the Radar, the Uniden DFR7 Radar, that was $175. Uh, the Mirror Mount and Wire, uh, the Wire Tap, uh, that was $42.99. Um, uh, I got Overland Design Shift and E-Brake uh, Boots, that was uh, $150. Uh, the OEM Golden Convex Mirrors, which the, it's the actual mirrors, that was uh, one, yeah, $139.95. Uh, the Carbon Reproductions Carbon Fiber Mirror Covers, those were $210.96. Uh, the STI Carbon Fiber Trunk Trim, uh, just the, the garnish that goes on the trim right there, that was $144.87. Uh, the Carbon Fiber License Plate Frame, that was $49.99. That's a pretty expensive license plate frame. <laughs> uh, the gloss black and white emblems on the front and rear, that was uh, $32.85. Uh, my taillights that I got done from a buddy of mine, uh, that was $280. Uh, that includes shipping and everything. Um, uh, <clears throat> the OLM Carbon Fiber Steering Wheel Trim, that was 
um, Subi Speeds S4 DRL fog light bezels. Uh, those are $129.95. Uh, that's now they're like $54. So that's a crazy drop. So if you're interested in getting those, I would go snag them. I think I saw them for pretty cheap recently. Uh, the parent SI drive knob, uh, that was 54. Subi Speed smoke side markers, which I don't have in the car yet. Uh, that was, where am I? <laughs> that was $24.95. Uh, diode dynamic switchback sea lights with DRL harness. I haven't installed them yet. That was $170.60. Uh, the Bren e tune and Cobb SF intake. Uh, that was $752.81. That was a big one. Next up is the Intertech Fabrication Intercool Guard. That's the uh, the screen that goes over the intercooler and the engine bay. That was $96.20. Um, all the parent um, the parent sway bars, parent end links, let me just name everything. Uh, the parent radiator shroud, parent belt cover, uh, parent boost control cover, parent strut bar, parent bar battery tie down, parent brake master cylinder reservoir cover, uh, parent oil cap, parent 25 millimeter real sway bar, and the parent uh, rear poly end links. All that together was a thousand bucks. The OLM carbon fiber exhaust finisher, finishers, uh, those were $194.95. Uh, the Subi Speed carbon fiber pro gurney flap, that was $199.95. The OLM uh, roof or rough spoiler version one carbon fiber, that was $249.95. Um, and that is it. <laughs> um, so I want to um, add all this up uh, and just make sure, because I don't want to get reamed for um, my math being wrong. So I'm gonna add this up real quick and then I'll let you know the total. But if anybody was following along, you can add it up yourself and I'm sure you know the total by now, but one second. Told you all the prices. Um, again, that doesn't include um, any sponsorships or partnerships or uh, sales that the company was having. This is just basically, uh, you know, the basic price that you would find online. Some things, this was a while ago. This was over the course of basically three years. So pricing may have changed on a few items. So if you wanna look it up, um, that's you know that's fine by me but this is basically what i paid um and uh that's just currently again that's just currently what's on the car right now i may have missed a couple things but uh this is roughly everything um you know i've had different sets of wheels i've had different tires i've had different lighting things uh a few couple a few couple other little mods that i, I maybe put on the car and i ended up selling or or they're not on the car currently and they're you know just sitting in the cabinet or something like that. Um, this is just the amount that it takes to get it to look like this. Um, and take it for what it is, but the total is $14,113.76. Uh, so like I said, I did the, <laughs> I wanted to make sure I did the math. I added everything up in the, in the uh, um, well, you know, what I said when I went through my spreadsheet just to let everybody know uh, the pricing that I, I paid for everything or what it costs to bring it to this level. Um, so, you know, a lot of people are going to be thinking, wow, that's, that's a lot of money. And anybody, I don't care what kind of money you have, that is a lot of money. Um, but <clears throat> to me, um, it didn't really sting as bad as I thought it was, mainly because uh, it allowed me, uh, I, I enjoy doing this. This is something that makes me happy. Um, part of my ownership of, of my cars, um, modding them is probably one of the best parts about doing it, making it my own. And you know, to me, the money thing is not really the issue. You know, it's uh, you know sometimes it's a it's a hard pill to swallow, but uh, usually when I do get that mod and I install it and everything, it brings me more joy uh, knowing it's on the car um, and I get to experience it and have it on the car and just yeah, it makes me happy. Um, so that to me, that's more important than. Um, you know, physical money, <laughs> uh, you know, and the good thing about, uh, with previous cars and everything, a lot of the mods I put on, a lot of people do follow me and everything. And I end up doing pretty well when I do end up selling the parts. Uh, so I usually make back a good amount of that. Uh, I know a lot of people, um, you know, it's usually, I think it's like pretty much 50% of what, uh, you basically paid, uh, which is roughly, I guess what I get back and maybe on certain items, you know, it depends on if I got a deal or something, uh, you know, it kind of goes in my favor, but you know, that doesn't matter to me. Um, I just want to get the mods, put them on the car and enjoy the car of, of how I have it in my head, the vision that I have. And if it costs, you know, 
X amount of money, then, then so be it, you know? Um, but there obviously comes a line that you have to kind of draw, um, you know, how much do you want to put into this car? Do you plan on keeping it forever? Do you plan on uh, keeping it for a long, long time? You know, it really depends. Um, you know, if, if it's a car that I don't enjoy, I'm not going to obviously put as much money into it. Um, but, but this car I'm enjoying immensely and that's mainly due to, uh, how I kind of built it, how I, uh, you know, put, to put the car together and how it currently drives and, and, and looks and everything. Um, so, and I'm enjoying the car that much more because of the mods that I've done to this. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be saying, wow, that's a lot of money. You could have built, uh, you know, like a... 500, 600 horsepower STI, um, but again, to me, I, that's not that's not my bag. That's not my thing. Uh, I more prefer uh, looking cool and looking good, uh, and having good paint and and just um, you know that's that's that makes me happy. You know, doing making the car uh, not unreliable, but more of a race car than anything, I guess. You know, just doing performance mods and stuff. Like I get it, I totally get it if somebody wants to put that money towards the engine or, or performance mods, that's, I totally understand that. That's just not my thing. I just prefer doing the kind of aesthetic kind of kind of mods. So uh, take it for what you will. Uh, I don't care who you are, that is a lot of money. Um, but again, it makes me happy. Uh, do what you want. Don't let anybody tell you uh, to do something to your car or take something off because they don't like it. It's your car, it's your money, do what you want. Because uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, you're the one that's going to be driving it and looking at it every single day. So if it makes you happy, that's all that matters. Um, there's obviously maybe some things on this car that not everybody loves or some people don't like, and that's fine. I really don't care. Um, you know, this was my hard earned money that I, I uh, made myself and I decided to put into this car. So, um, but yeah, that's what it costs to uh, basically bring your STI up to. I guess what this car looks like. Um, so if you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them below. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer them. I, I, again, I say this in every video, but I really do appreciate uh, the new subscribers and obviously the old ones as well, asking the questions, kind of making the conversation. Uh, I, I try my best to respond to every intelligent question. If you say something silly or just you know, out of spite or whatever, I'm either A, I'm not gonna respond or B, delete it. Um, so don't waste your time. I'm not going to sit there and answer you because I know that's what you're just looking for the answer or, or drama or me to respond and I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm much more mature and um, understand that uh, that's, that's just not where this channel is about. This is about positivity and um, kind of lifting each other up and just talking cars. It's, it's as simple as that. I understand people have opinions, which is totally fine, uh, but if you're saying stuff about me or something just just mean I, that there's no place for that so um, again if you guys have any questions ask them below uh, be sure to like and subscribe uh, my next video um, i'm actually going to go uh, down do a breakdown of how much it costs uh, to maintain this car how much i put into it uh, to, to maintain it uh, you know basic oil changes uh, just the basic stuff I, I'll explain it all in the next video uh, but I believe that will be pretty helpful to anybody looking to get into a car like this to understand um, that I've said this before but uh, buying a car and affording a car are two separate things um, if you can buy it uh, but you can't afford to do the oil changes um, or the basic maintenance or anything or if something you know breaks um, then you shouldn't be buying the car so uh, that video will definitely be helpful, I think, so people can get a rough idea of uh, what I've spent with my ownership. I, that's all I'm going to talk about. So, um, but yeah, I don't want to get too far into that because it's a separate video. But thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.